Um, so one way to kind of solve some of these problems uh, with NRZI, so again, if we uh, just, for, whoops, brief uh, refresher, come back. So NRZI is nice in that it has a, requires a lower maximum frequency than the Manchester encoding, but if we have too many zeros in a row, we still have this problem uh, that we might lose synchronization and uh, lose tracking of the, um, the high and the low signals. So one approach to this um, is, for example, um, 4B, 5B coding. So this is every four bits gets encoded as five bits, and we add that extra bit uh, in there we can actually use so that we can choose 16 uh, different five bit encoding. So that will get us two to the power of four is 16. So we can encode all of the four bit combinations, but we make sure that every one of those five bit combinations um, fits some rules that prevent us from having these problems. So we make sure that there's at least um, one, uh, it has at least one one in it. So you can't have uh, too many uh, zeros in a row. And so what we want to do is to have no more than one leading zero and no more than two trailing zeros. Uh, and so it means that you have the second bit or the first bit must be a one and the um, third, fourth or fifth bit must be a one. And so as a result, we won't get any more uh, than three consecutive zero bits uh, in the data stream. And I'm just going to silence my phone. This is mildly embarrassing, sorry about that. So um, we can pick out bits, uh, bit combinations that actually meet uh, this kind of thing. So we only use uh, 16 of them uh, to encode the data. And we can use a few more of them that are also uh, fitting in these rules to indicate, for example, when a line is idle um, or when uh, and we can actually then discriminate that from when it's been disconnected. Uh, so in the idle case, we're actually still sending bits, for example, uh, but uh, it's distinguishable from the, the line actually being uh, dead. Uh, and so there's a number of them which are invalid that we can't use, but it means that we can use at several for different control signals. For example, maybe the start and end of a, a data frame. Uh, so this starts to be a really interesting way to, uh, uh, to do things. And compared to, oops, uh, so Manchester needed double the bandwidth, NRZI with 4B, 5B encoding uh, only requires five over four, 1.2 times uh, the data rate uh, for that frequency uh, and gets us some of these kind of nice things. Okay, and we'll talk about framing in the next uh, video.